from the inside kitchen, we have an outdoor kitchen. It would be impossible to have a building in Sierra Leone without an outside kitchen because we cook with charcoal, we cook with wood. So it needs to be, there needs to be a space that we can cook, especially in the rainy season, without having to go outside. So once again, here we'll have sink for us to wash dishes and we have drainage here. So, I mean, the water can go down and it would actually go outside of the building. Um, it's really, really nice area. Once this is finished, it's going to be really beautiful. This is the door that is our security door for now. And this will keep things um, protected and private. And we'll have another door right here as you enter the building. Now let's get down to the stairs. This is the back side of the building. To my right is where we have desired, um, designed for the security um, person to be. We still have to do the roof and we have to put glass at the door and the windows. And um, I think they will be comfortable there. And I absolutely love this building from this angle. Really, really beautiful. We get to have breeze because Sierra Leone is rather hot. So we made sure we designed it in a way where if someone is cooking out here and they're using charcoal, they will still have air and not feel suffocated. This is one of the, the bad bedrooms that we actually have for a staff member that would be on the grounds, separate from the children, not having to share the same, um, basically, space with the kids. And um, that's one of our boys. This is one of our local way of cooking. Uh, Morrison, hi. hi. He's cooking some rice. And so this is what we do here. And this is also another outside kitchen, the local outside kitchen that we get to enjoy. I've actually enjoyed spending time outdoors more than ever before. I'm not an outdoorsy person, but Sierra Luna has actually changed me. Now you see all these dots? When we were building, we had to build our own scaffolds, which were sticks. So once the, um, the sticks were taken out, we had holes that we had to fill. So that will be sealed eventually. So, I mean, basically this is what we've done so far. You can see the grounds and know that we still have work to be done. We need at least 3,000 bags of cement to be able to level this ground and get things working for the kids so they'll be able to play and move around freely without any injuries. Once again, I want to go back and say some of the things that we need. We absolutely have to have light, electricity is paramount. We need solar panels and, and the solar system, and we also need a backup generator. What we also need for sure is transportation to bus the children from this village to their schools, which is about maybe 20, 25 minutes. Right now we're doing that in a, in a, um, a Toyota car that can only hold six people. So we have to make multiple trips if we're to come from this location to school. Doors, we need doors in everywhere, basically bathrooms, kitchen, bedrooms, all of them need doors. Um, what else do we need? Tiles, we need to tile. We need to finish our kitchen. We have quite a few things to do. Um, and we need to raise funds to take care of our staff and the needs of the children. They are in really expensive schools, but we know that this is the investment we have to make for the children. 11 months, four and two weeks has been a long time <laughs> by no stretch, but it is for a great cause. It is an opportunity to watch the lives of these children become everything that I know God has for them. We know we are making a great impact in this country. And when it's all said and done, we will have 25 amazing children and counting that will have the future that God designed for them. So I wanna thank all of the partners who have worked so hard with us, who have been continuing to see that these children have all that they need. May God provide for you and your family. And you can go to our website and support us. Um, our website is www.ekmoi.org. Again, www.ekmoi.org. I plan on returning to the States in about a week or two. And I look forward to seeing all of you who have missed so dearly. And of course, my husband, who has been diligent in helping us to making sure this project is what it needs to be. God bless you. And I hope that you make it a great day.